Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Dungeons. A game made by uh, Ironforge. I'll admit I wasn't paying too much attention during the intro. And published by uh, Calypso Media. Yes, the same publishers that uh, put out Tropico. But anyway, that's not the point. I figured it was about time I returned to my more slightly darker series where I go into a dungeon of some kind and heal people, kill people, or steal from people. Yeah, that's probably it. It's fair to lump Team Hospital into the same uh, area, right? Probably. Right, so dungeons! Thought to be by many to be a successor to Dungeon Keeper, which it isn't. I clearly state, uh, think that it isn't, and never was intended to really be. Of course, it's a shadow they can never fully creep out under, but... Uh, well, this, this game never really piqued my interest, but hey, it was on sale at one point, I figured why not pick it up and then not play it for a couple of years. That's the best way to buy games, these days. But, to give my honest opinion on this game before we even get to any gameplay. Is this a good game? No. Is this a bad game? No. It is a fairly, very average game. Which in itself is also not very good, but... Uh, I can't bring myself to hate this game for what it is. For what it is, is really a... Sort of... Adventure Park building game for uh, very dim-witted heroes. Adventurers, and so all that. Which where uh, you build a park where the adventurers can go in, get their fill, and then get snuffed at the end as you slice them and put them in prison. Which in itself is quite sinister and actually a fairly good premise for a game that is about uh, being dark and all that. It's just the execution leaves a little bit to be desired. In uh, and we'll get into that. And uh, yeah, there's little else for me to tell me about, tell you about that. Got uh, here at the starting screen, so I really should just get into a campaign. I have played through the game twice, just to make sure that I collected everything that I thought was necessary to fully get into the game. It's not to say that I am the most expert player on this game, just my opinions on this. <sighs> also, I will probably be drawing a couple of comparisons to games that have a similar theming. Namely, Dungeon Keeper and, Keeper and Overlord. Is that fair? Nope. Still gonna do it. Because, well, this game really, really tries to hook into the same emotion just simply by, by virtue of the intro sequence there. That with the worker running away from the hero bit. That's just a little bit too similar to just a fragment of the intro to Dungeon Keeper, isn't it? Just a little bit. And you know, it almost works, because it's, it's not inherently a bad thing to borrow from other games that had a little bit more success in their field. But they pretty much immediately ruin the effect for me when they pan up on the hero and the eyes are offset. Ah, oh, that, that's just such a pity. <laughs> Oh, that that just hurts. But anyway, let's, let's just get into it. Because we need to be playing a dungeon lord and the rules, the underworld. This may take a while. <sighs> now, I will be talking a fair bit about things I don't think work. And I will be complaining about in interface and all that. Uh, that's unavoidable, unfortunately. But overall, I don't say I've really hated my time with the game, it's just nothing really memorable happens. I have to hurry and warn my master before it's too late! As usual, he'll be sitting on his crystal throne in the lower level, doing nothing! <laughs> right then, off we go now! Hmm, how did that go? I'd better have a look in the manual! Hmm. <laughs> I can't understand a single word of this senseless chatter. Whatever. I have to find the stairs down. 
Right. Well, here we are. With Mr. Sidekick, and that's actually his name. He is a big part of why I don't think this game fully works. I mean, the story in this game isn't top-notch writing anyway, and actually, the, the whole premise of the game is really, really open to uh, satire and all that. Uh, which I think is probably what they intended to do with the game anyway. <laughs> Don't these tunnels ever end? Talk about walking yourself to death. For the life of me, I'll never understand why heroes always want to visit our dungeons. <laughs> if I were a dungeon lord, I wouldn't have to waste my time running around like this. <laughs> but my time will come. <laughs> yes, I, I did know I could keep this. getting lost in these damn tunnels, although it's just one long passageway. Yes, this uh, this game has the ideal premise to go through a satire, which they more or less did with their standalone expansion. But for now, we have to do with this because really. The story is being played straight oh, as the entire way through. I finally reached the master's dungeon. He can only build things here in his own area of influence. Everything in this area belongs to him, no matter who built it. <laughs> so, another look at the manual. What? Damn! I could have had a better overview all along. Apparently... There's been a spell on me the whole time. Well, it's time to put an end to that. Let me tell you. Yeah. Still explaining about magic, and that's fine, but... You know what? I don't care. We have some minions walking about here. That's... Well, I, I call them minions. That's not actually what they are. Ah, good. There are the stairs heading down. All I have to do now is use the lever beside the gate. I'd have a closer look at the thing, but the manual says something stupid about selecting things with a mouse. And I have absolutely no idea what they're going on about. Yeah, trying to be too meta about the whole thing doesn't help. But yeah, no, these monsters are indeed monsters, but they're not really minions and such that they I don't have any control over them. Which is kind of the distinction I would draw. Your faithful servant is sure to reach you soon. Right. Next level. Hey, we did a tutorial. The tutorial will not go on ah, that much longer, though, done. fortunately. Master, I, your faithful servant, Mr. Sidekick, wish to warn you. Your treacherous, devious girlfriend, Calypso, is planning to overthrow you. So, is that what I'm planning? <laughs> um... I'll leave you alone with your little toy, Honeycakes. I have to look after my dungeon. Master, I'm heartbroken. Obviously, I was misinformed. Please forgive me. Yeah, if only that made a slight bit of difference. But yeah. Let's just... Have a look about. A new master. I was right. That treacherous Calypso opened all the entrances to the surface and lured countless heroes into the dungeon. Attack! Oops, how clumsy of me. I do hope you can deal with this plethora of heroes, dear, for otherwise you'll lose your throne and then I'd be forced to move up. <laughs> oh, by the way. It's over between us. Master, it looks bad. I'm afraid you've already gotten a bit rusty. <laughs> I will try to outline to you briefly how it works. 
Unlike some keepers, dungeon lords such as yourself, Master, are very interested in seeing heroes stream into their dungeon. For not only do heroes carry gold with them, they also collect soul energy. But they only collect the latter when they're enjoying themselves. It is therefore imperative for us to first satisfy those heroes, and then cut them down. <laughs> Pretend the heroes are like little pigs. We cherish and feed them until they become happy and fat, and then... <laughs> well, you know. By the way, Master, your buddy, Diablo, works exactly the same way. He throws the hero whatever scraps they need to amuse themselves and sends them just enough monsters to ensure that they have an exciting but survivable struggle. Okay, maybe he hasn't quite gotten the knack of cutting the heroes down at the right moment. <laughs> and usually ends up losing out in the end. <laughs> but hey, let's face it, you are way more competent than that Diablo. In this particular case, the pigs are in the majority and uh, heavily armed, so I would suggest we make a uh, strategic withdrawal. Build as many prestige gimmicks as possible. This will make you more powerful and help us to escape. We should hurry. We need to reach a different level before someone manages to destroy your dungeon heart. Yeah. You ask too many things, but subtlety is not one of them. Alright. So I need to produce more prestige gimmicks, eh? This I can do. Now, it is usually best to just build whatever uh, you have the most of. Since I have near infinite soul energy at the moment, let's just use that. And build crystal basins with decorative gargoyles. Somewhere in the dungeon. Now, you could of course diversify and pick whatever else you want. This is really only for your uh, optional. It doesn't matter all that much. Excellent work, Master! I think you should now at least be strong enough to escape. Those are the stairs we need to reach before your dungeon heart is destroyed. We have to go through this gate. It can be opened using a lever in the vicinity. And finally he moves. And we are in control. Now, we need to go... Where do we need to go? Let's see... Let's just kill this fool. Because right now we are way more powerful than whatever hero is are on the field. Well, sort of. Uh, let's see, where do we need to go again? I mean, they did show us the gate, but it didn't show us very clearly where we need to be. Ah, over there. Alright, let's go. We can mostly just ignore these heroes. Then they're not necessary to be defeated, and most of them are not even really worth bothering with. They will not really follow us after all. Face the engaging and powerful combat!
Great work, Master. Now there's almost nothing in our... Fights. Yeah, we fought already. Granted, there's three of them now. So let them eat fireball. And flame strike. I mean, might as well use the powers while I have them. The Berserk Rage will last for a bit longer, and the heroes are not really doing any damage to me. I mean, the animation on the characters isn't bad, per se. It's just not spectacular in any way. <laughs> uh, but what this game really lacks is just character. We made it! We escaped! However, I'm afraid you lost your throne and are no longer Prince of the Underworld. But rather... Simply a dungeon lord in the catacombs again. But fear not, master. We will soon have you back on your feet. And then we will carve you a path back to the throne. And then, well, of course, we will take our hideously cruel revenge on Calypso. <laughs> but before we can do that, you will first have to gather new strength and power. Let us plunge the land into chaos and destruction. <laughs> Calypso has betrayed you, but she won't be on your throne for long. Recover your strength and exact your terrible revenge on her. And we will. Yum Yum Yumville. Those greedy halflings from Yum Yumville are an annoying folk master. They are constantly celebrating some festival or another and laughing and singing and dancing. But soon we'll put an end to all that. <laughs> you see, I have found out that there's an artifact in the underworld that could help us. The Seeds of Discord. Master, I propose that we set out to find this artifact. First, you will gain in power for your coming revenge. And secondly, it should be fun imparting a little momentum to these repulsively pacifist halflings. <laughs> and we will be doing that next time. Thank you for watching.